everybody, welcome back to my Anime Rad channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be watching Tsukumichi Moonlight Fantasy, episode 10. Last episode we left off with Makoto and Mio going into the forest to gather up the flowers that he needs to begin his shop, to open it up, to start really doing things that a merchant does. And they're met with what appear to be elves at the end of the episode who try to kill them. I'm not sure what they are now because the title of the next episode has something to do with ogres, the forest of the ogres, so maybe they're ogres. Um, so at the very end we see a Lich King pop up, so I'm assuming that he's going to try to stop them or kill them at some point. We also learn that Makoto was able to disassimilate his body and reconstitute it. He uses this skill to hone in on a target to shoot his bow better. And what it essentially does is it's akin to killing yourself and then being reborn constantly. And this increases his mana pool, which is why the demi plane that he's pretty much connected to with Tomo continues to grow larger and larger. As the door said, it seems like it just goes on forever. So, because of him, it's essentially a continually evolving growing world we also get like i said in the beginning of the episode the races of this plane are contending against each other to basically hone each other's skills so that they become stronger but aren't demoralized because of makoto tomo or mio being so much stronger than them that they really can't train with them they're unable to because they're nowhere near as powerful as them so it, it really doesn't help them. Um, but with that said, let's get on to this episode. Um, see if these are elves or in fact ogres. See what's up with this Lich King guy. See what happens and I'll see you there. All right, everybody, here we go. Look at these three chasing them, asking them to help them out when they were basically going to steal from them. It's definitely enough for me, dog. No. Huh. Tomo is upset because it looked like Mio and him were on a date and she was not a part of it. Wow, he won't let her make katanas? That's kind of weird. Like, you would think her maybe being able to make weapons would essentially be helpful. Feed Mio some of her favorite food. Oh no. Oh well, ha. <laughs> of course. Okay, so it looks like he attacked them, incinerating them into nothing. Oh, oh no, no, I'm done. Wow, Makoto, I didn't know you were that kinky. Calm down. Just last episode, you were beating them off. Giggity, 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 go. Wow. Yeah, they don't have elf ears. They're not pointed or anything. Okay, so she canceled out her spell by overriding it or by interfering with it. Who knows? Oh, that was a lot faster than I thought it'd be. All right. Yeah, I'm not so trusting of this right now because they still think they're humans. And humans are not allowed here. Something ain't right. Yeah, the ogre forest. She is kind of adorable though, isn't she? Her nonchalant attitude, carefree. That's not the lore that I've heard. Not a different species. 
are essentially the same in this anime. Neat! Ogres, elves kind of come from the same gene pool. So they say forest ogres, but they're basically forest ogre elves. I guess? I don't know. I guess, but actually no. Just a little bit. Interesting. So something caused him to distrust outsiders even more than, I guess, like the typical ogre. Say what? It only hurts a little at first. What is she even talking about? What would hurt? Uh, that kind of gives me Yami vibes from Black Clover. <laughs> kind of like this really in your face. <laughs> shaky, shaky. <laughs> Getting a little intimate there, bro. Uh,. Okay. <laughs> Mio's upset because she got it. He got an extra second of hand holding. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't activate that power. So is he able to sense how strong Makoto really is? Excuse me, why? Okay, we've got the red glowing eye. Is he possessed or the Lich King? And just using like an illusion type magic to conceal his body? But they would know who that person is, so I guess he possessed him. Yeah, red beams of light, sniper guns. Hmm. I haven't noticed him acting any bit out of character lately. Yeah, I guess having a human form besides that of a large spider helps with uh, daily life somewhat, huh? Of course! Yeah, possessed by the Lich King. How would nobody notice all those large threads hanging around the village like that, though? No one will investigate our connection to the demon. So the sun is up to something really shady. I didn't have the opportunity to dodge any sniper rifle bullets. What does he need Toma for? Uh, what's going on here? Is he going to try to move targets? You are dead! Uh, no? I'm pretty sure he killed the son. Okay. So did he kill Adona because he was talking to demons? Is he trying to protect the village somehow? No! I like how calm Makoto is talking to a Lich King like that. Or a Lich. I keep calling him King, but he must might be a Lich. Wow, okay, so maybe he wasn't trying to protect the village. He essentially said, hey, if you move, then they're going to die anyway. Okay, so he's doing what Mio did by disrupting his spell. With dark magic. Wanted to become a grant. Uh, 
Okay. So they called. He needed Tomo to send the list to the demo plane. Obviously. Wow, they were gonna kill Makoto. Or try to, anyway. Oh, Tomo was the dragon that made the barrier. No shit. Yeah, I was kind of curious about that. Like, how would they not notice the vast amount of power that they're giving off? Like, Mio and Tomo should be giving off all kinds of powerful, like, this powerful aura. And they just can't sense it? That's weird. This voice actor sounds really familiar. Why is Mio getting so upset again? It's not like they're holding hands now. I mean, I'd buy that single copper for 100 gold if it saved my life. Damn! Oh, wow. The girls are not having his belittling of Makoto at all. <laughs> the the limit of his spells is a single piece of paper written by Emma. That's so very very sad. Okay, so they found portals leading to the other worlds, and most of them just came back. Probably because they saw the other worlds were crap compared to theirs. Probably. Okay, so this guy was seeking all this knowledge to become a grant. Because he believed that becoming a grant would allow him to travel these different worlds. But in fact, finding portals to other worlds, traveling through them, is what makes you a grant. Poor guy. So Makoto will learn a whole ton of spells through this guy. And this guy will learn about various other worlds more than likely by traveling with Makoto, if not by Makoto himself. Because I don't know why they haven't told him, hey, he's from another world. So that, that would have made things so much easier. You don't want to be like okay, this. This girl is utter trash. Okay, so I guess they're going to try to steal from the treasury. Okay. What are they getting at? Are they, is Tomo basically saying that Makoto had to dumb down his magic a whole lot to make the contract work? Like he was forcing this guy just out of the contract somehow? Wow. Daddy, yes. Okay. Well. <laughs> His whole voice changed. I'm not sure if it's the same VA or not. Okay, so she was talking about the memory vaults before whatever this. Why was there a huge, um, what the world? 
There was like a really bright light before the explosion even happened. And now for whatever reason, Tomo is, well, really injured. All right, everybody, so a bit of a recap on the episode. So at the end of the episode, we have Tomo getting injured pretty heavily, I might say, from something. I'm not sure if she's somehow connected to the demi plane and any part of it being destroyed, even the buildings in it, causes her to get hurt, which would be kind of odd. Because um, it's like saying if people were to chop down the trees to build homes, she would get hurt, which I'm pretty sure is something they've been doing. So I don't know how that works, unless she's made some kind of uh, bond with part of the buildings, especially those with uh, more valuable items in them so that she's aware of what's going on with them. But I don't know why she just want to have like some kind of trap set up to where if somebody entered a building, she would be aware of it. Why she would have some kind of connection to where she would get hurt. So I don't know why she got hurt like that. That's kind of weird. And I can't wait to see how that correlates with the explosion. Which I'm pretty sure is caused by those three people trying to get into the treasury room. And essentially steal everything that they see. These, these people, especially from the way the girl talked about... Uh... Her not wanting to be guarded by lily pigs or anything to that. And like, she seems like real trash. So, okay. We get the Lich King who essentially wanted to travel worlds. He's trying to figure out magic and history and knowledge to find out how to become a grant because grants are able to travel between worlds. And he didn't know that you don't become a grant to travel to different worlds. After you travel to different worlds, you get the title of a grant. So he was unaware of that somehow. And I think that would have been more common basic knowledge. So I don't know how he didn't figure that out sooner. Um, so I'm guessing that Makoto is able to set up some kind of trade with the ogres who I thought were elves. After especially Tomo comes in and basically says, hey look, uh, I'm the dragon that erected this barrier around your village. Don't you remember me? And I now serve this guy. So now that they are understanding that he's not just not a regular human, but he has really powerful servants to allow him to trade with them. Because from what I caught, they were going to try to kill him during this festival they were holding. So they wanted to get his guard down and then kill him. Okay. Um... But with that said, let me know what you all thought of this episode, and I will see you all next time.